What is up everybody? Space Unicorn here bringing you some hot frag action. Today guys what we're doing is the Queen Boom Legends event. We're going to go over a brief rundown of how to win these matches uh, as I know that some of you guys are still struggling with them. So before we get into the video I need you a huge favor. I need you to like, comment, and subscribe. Your support is genuinely appreciated and we are almost at 10,000 subscribers and I cannot do that goal without you. So with that being said, let's get into the match. Zombie Apocalypse. <laughs> All right, so the trick with these events, guys, is pretty simple. The first thing you want to know going into these events is you want to know all the cards and how they play. Um, this will allow you to pick which card gives you the best advantage going into the match. Um, realistically, that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, <clears throat> obviously, certain cards are better than others. This guy has a much better lineup than me. But thankfully, he's not using his advantage cards. Um, so by understanding which cards give you that edge, you're able to pick the card that's going to allow you to best oppose your opponent. Uh, in this case, my best bet is Roloff. Roloff's actually a, still a pretty solid card. He's not what he used to be, but he's still able to do things that, well, hurt your opponent pretty badly. That Hunter, I'm very scared of that Hunter. I'm not going to lie to you. Very scared of that hunter. <laughs> that hunter is such an advantage on his part. Not even going to joke about it. Such an advantage. Now we got a little tower pressure going. But by understanding the cards, guys, and understanding which cards are going to give you the best chance uh, to pull an advantage, uh, this will help you greatly in the advancing in these series. Um, that's just a basic little thing and then obviously understanding how the card plays getting max value out of them really will put you in a position where you can not will but can win all the matches um, like I said this lineup that hunter really bothered me but I did have a queen boom to fall back on and I had a roll off which roll off was actually going to give me the slight edge um, in that particular uh, match now the next thing that you want to know with these matches guys is they're broken. <laughs> to put it quite simply, they're broken. Um, what I mean by that is double time sometimes happens in the middle of a match. Oh boy. Oh boy on this one, guys. <laughs> Alright, I do have a tank bot. He has an Arkin though, which that's that's everybody's uh, favorite card to face in one of these. Alright, so we do now have to push some pressure on our opponent here. Unfortunately, that Arkan is going to make this extremely difficult. Arkan is just not a card uh, you like seeing on the other side of the field right now. He's in a place that's pretty nasty. Poka, don't bail out Arkan! Come on, man! We're gonna have to go tank bot again. Gotta put some pressure on him. Gotta get some pressure here. Alright, we're putting a little bit of pressure on him now. Got the Arkin off the field. It's free go now. Why does he have those sparkles on him? But, like I said, same thing is happening here, guys. Um, realistically, I have a tank bot. And granted, he does have that Arkin, which. I'm very cautious of because Arkin is in such a place right now that he's very good. Um, but we are able to do some counters because of understanding how the cards work, the mechanics of them, and understanding what position to put them in to do the max amount of damage possible. Um, realistically, while while some of these matches are RNG, quite a few of them actually, uh, you can still win the majority of the matches with the cards you are given. You just have to understand those cards and understand when is the time for me to push a character or push a tower. Um, things of that nature. If you don't understand that, you're going to find yourself in a bad situation consistently no matter what lineup you have. Um, the next thing that you need to understand with these guys, these matches guys, is you have to play defense. 
if you don't play defense, you're going to find yourself in a really, really rough spot very, very consistently. Um, and realistically, sometimes there's no recovering. Um, you never want to be in the hole in a draft match where you aren't choosing that lineup, you know? Wait, did that just say completing a stage at Crystal's Legend event? But this is Queen Boom's Legend, Legend event. I am confused. It definitely said Crystal, didn't it? What the heck? Alright, one more match, guys. <clears throat> Alrighty, come on, baby, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Eventually we'll get there. I thought they adjusted the stars needed for these events, but I'm pretty sure that's saying 90 still, which means it's bugged. Oh, I got a good lineup. I got a good lineup on this one, boys. The reason I say it's a good lineup is because Duncan's there, and Duncan's the second strongest card in the game. Charge, my boy does. Helps whenever you hit your shots, though. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? That's what I thought. Duncan says no. Actually. Alright, so the last tip I'm going to give you guys. Understand your map and where your cards are at on the map. Awareness to this game is super, super, super important. If you're unaware of where your characters are or where your opponent's cards are, you're going to find yourself in a hole quickly. A lot of these cards nowadays do so much tower damage so quickly that there's not much you can do about it if they start doing it. That guy was a little late on his uh, ult there. Now we're going to finish off this tower. Just like this. And that is going to be all she wrote for these particular opponents. <laughs> Sorry guys about the sniffling. I don't mean to. It's just one of those things right now. And that's GG's. As I stated, guys, know your map, know your location, know your cards, and know your rotations. Those are the things you really need to know for these events. If you know those things, you will win these events pretty consistently. Um, you're really not going to have any issues with people. Um, now, another little thing you can do, guys, if you end up having a bunch of tickets like I do now, you can click this little 200 ticket thing, and it gives you a chance to get a Queen Boom. But it is only a chance. You're not guaranteed anything. Which is kind of dumb. Uh, if you think about it, it says one out of four will receive directly Queen Boom. But, you see what I mean? Like, it's not going to give me Queen Boom right now. That's, it's, it literally, I've tested this a few times now. Um, by spending those tickets, realistically, you're going to have to buy it at least four times to get one Queen Boom. Because that's the way Frag does it. They want you to waste those tickets. They really do. Best thing I would tell you to do, don't waste your time with that uh, unless you have a lot of money, which I do not. Um, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and down there. And I will see you, Legends, next time. Bye-bye.